On my left is the Scythe Mugen 5 going for $45. On my right is the Nocto NHU-12S going for $60. Let's see which one can better dissipate heat on my test bench. I'll be using the same hardware on my test bench that was used in the last video in the upper right hand corner of the screen where I placed the Nocto NHU-12S against the Cooler Master Hyper 212 EVO. So I'm in the BIOS right now and we're looking at stock settings. I'm gonna go into the OC profile and we want to load my 4.9 gigahertz overclock. That's done. Go back to AI Tweaker. I just like saying that. You'll see now that I'm at 4,900 megahertz, which is 4.9 gigahertz. We are running at 1.5 volts. So I'm gonna save this configuration, reboot, We'll get into Windows and stress test this baby out and see what we can get for temperatures. Right now, the ambient temperature, see if I can get it in the light. The ambient temperature is 66 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so I have real temp right here on the left, and I have Prime 95 right here. I'm gonna set it on small FFTs with AVX disabled, launch, and we will see what temperatures we get. All right, so this test has been running for a significant amount of time, and it's just barely touching 87 degrees Celsius. So what I'm gonna do now is disassemble the Noctu NHU-12S, install the Scythe Mugen 5, and we'll see if we can yield some better temperatures. All right, so the stress test has been running for a significant amount of time. And on the hottest two cores, I'm seeing 90, 91 degrees Celsius. I had a lot of fun with the CPU cooler comparison, but it's not over yet. I honestly didn't have any idea what the outcome would be because you have the high-end fans by Noctua, but you also have the sheer mass of the Scythe Mugen heatsink. So what I wanna try is let's put this fan this knock to a fan onto the Scythe Mugen heatsink and see what the temperatures are. And as you can see right here, roughly the same temperatures within one degree Celsius. Okay, time for a recap. The Noctua fan on the Scythe Mugen 5 radiator showed virtually no difference between the stock configuration. The Noctua NHU-12S with an ambient temperature of 66 degrees Fahrenheit maxed out at about 85, 86 degrees Celsius. And the stock Scythe Mugen 5 full load maxed out at about 90, 91 degrees Celsius. So when all is said and done, the Scythe Mugen 5 Revision B is a very good cooler for the money. Hit that like button if you like this video. Also, comment below. Let me know if you want to see a part two. If so, what would you like to see in that video?